is a duck blur Might solve a mystery Or rewrite history Hey guys, good evening and welcome to my exciting channel We're discussing Mandela effects and of the life Thanks for joining me today as we uncover the mysteries of the Mandela effect itself And find out the true meaning of it all We must discover what is really happening? What is really going on here? What difference does that make? This was a dream, a fantasy. I mean, you said just shut up, offsetter, and tell me about the ticket. This. Hey guys, what is up? I hope y'all are having a fantastic Monday morning and a uh, great and happy Labor Day. I wanted to show you some of these models here of where Irma may be heading as we are tracking this thing on the East Coast, and we have this upper level high right here that's around Bermuda they call it the Bermuda High which is uh, steering this hurricane farther south and as we look over time here okay today is the fourth okay um, we look at these winds here the winds are right around 110 115 although I, mean, I might have to zoom in a little bit okay let's see yeah, see, it's going to let me zoom in. Okay. Okay, it's not showing them as being that high right now. Um, but as we look over time, I'm going to hit the play button, actually. Let's see where it ends up today by 11 p.m. It's not moving very much. I think it's it's moving at a speed probably about 15 miles an hour to the west northwest I mean west southwest at this time it's being pushed south by the high um, let's see where we're at on the fifth okay on the fifth tomorrow we're looking at approaching the lesser Antilles the band of islands over here Okay, where are we at by 11, 11 p.m.? Let's see. Okay. So but that's basically... Let me just move it to where we need it. Okay. So 11 p.m., we're actually very close to these islands on the 5th. Now let's see where we're at on the 6th. Okay, now... You know what they go by? They go by like 10 different spaghetti models or computer simulated models where it could actually go, right? So at this point it's taking more of a jog to the north or west it would be like a west northwest pattern here maybe and you know it's it it is still being pushed to the south by this high but it's it's actually nearing Florida more at this point Okay, on the 7th, this is Thursday. Now, by Thursday, I, I was listening to the weather report. We actually have a cold front pushing through in the United States. It's a trough that's going to push, it's going to work to um, push this hurricane more to the north at this point. So, the high has weakened over here. So, it's really just a matter of placement um, as far as, and timing. Because if this trough moves more eastward we could see the hurricane take more of a path toward the Carolinas and I'll show you another model here in, in a second uh, let's see on the 8th the hurricane looks like it's hitting Cuba so Cuba's taking the brunt of it right here on the 9th that's Saturday the 9th okay and the 10th takes it actually Wow. Okay, at this point it's still, it's like a category four, possibly a five, and it's pushing toward Miami. It's moving northward, north-northwest. Now at this point, it's hitting central Florida. It could, it could take out most of Florida right here on the 11th. Okay, notice how it just sort of like skips along. It, it, it's it's a very fast storm. That's a good thing. You don't want these things to stick around very long. And by the 13th, it's it's in the Midwest. 
Okay, so you know, you know, as the days go out, the, the probably the more accurate um, would be within these five days. If you go past the five days, you're looking at anybody's guess at this point. But mostly by Saturday, the model is showing hidden Cuba right here. Now let's look at this. This is VentuSky.com. Okay, we we look at another another simulation. Okay, this is um, Windy.com, and let's see. I'm not used to using this one. Let's see. Let's move this a little bit. Okay, now you can see it. There's Irma. Approaching the Lesser Antilles. Let's see. Okay, let's look at the ninth. Okay, let me freeze that. Okay, so it looks like the models are sort of in agreement on the ninth. It kind of hits Cuba at this point, and you got another storm behind this one. However, this one may um, may actually due to this trough here the um, low pressure it's probably go this one's probably going to go out to sea okay well let's see let me see where they differ a little bit all right so we're looking at windy.com on the 10th okay now this is where it could it, it could differ okay we're talking about you know hundreds of miles right here this is probably about 200 mile difference notice how the hurricane takes a more northerly track east of Florida on this model if it goes west of Florida you could see potentially damage over the whole state um, right here it's taking more of an easterly actually it's turning north sooner and if it does that we could be looking at a landfall in Charleston, South Carolina um, by the, looks like the 11th or the 12th. There it is right there. Okay, so that's on the 12th. We could be looking at a landfall, okay, um, around 7 in the morning, right around Charleston, South Carolina. On the 12th at 7 a.m. Look at that. And it looks like, from what I can tell, it looks like we're we're kind of. Wow, look at this. It's crazy how these models are sometimes, you know. Um. Yeah, it looks like it's it's going almost right for Raleigh. On this model. There we go. There's Myrtle Beach. Wow, okay, so it goes, it heads right into Raleigh at this point. But yeah, if you're in any low-lying low areas, uh, especially along the coastline, you need, to be, you need to be extra careful and watch this thing over the next several days. You know, I just, I, I figured I'd share with you what's online. Uh... It's not meant to scare you, it's meant to prepare everybody, okay? It's meant to prepare you for the worst. Always expect the worst, hope for the best, you know? Um, and then this, as far as this other storm, it looks like it may possibly head out to sea. Yeah, so it, it all depends on when it takes that northerly turn. To, uh, to, to see where the storm actually is going. But anyway, guys, thanks for checking me out. Have a great Mandela effect day. God bless. I'll keep you posted later tonight. I'll do another update.